Welcome back guys this is question 2.103 and the statement of this question is a truth serum has the property that 90% of the guilty suspects are properly judged while of course 10% of the guilty suspects are improperly found innocent okay so let me write here the given data so let me write here the given data okay so here in order to uh, do so let me have two conditions which are p and n p a means guilty or positive and n means innocent okay similarly here we are also using p s in which theorem guilty Okay, which is shown guilty by the serum and similarly n of s in which serum shows that a person is innocent so these are the two positions which we are going to use here and these would be the two variables p is basically positive which means guilty and n is negative which means innocent so the efficiency of the serum has been shown here and according to which the efficiency of it is 90 percent which means that the probability of the positive in serum such that a person is already positive is 0 0.9 or 90 percent okay so this is basically the efficiency it has okay similarly while contrary to this the probability that a person is guilty while the serum shows that it is innocent is how much that is given here and that is 0 0.1 okay on the other hand innocent suspects are misjudged one percent of the time which means that the probability that a person is innocent or negative such that the serum shows that he is guilty that is done one percent of the time means zero point zero one times okay so this is what we have if the suspect was selected from a group of suspects of which only five percent have ever committed a crime so the probability of the actual guilties in that group is how much that is five percent or zero point zero five and from it we can also see that the probability of the actual negatives in that group would be how much that would be one minus probability of the positives and it would be 95 percent or 0 0.95 okay. so uh, and the serum indicates that he is guilty what is the probability that he is innocent so here uh, if the serum has been showing that a person is guilty so what is the probability that he is innocent so i want to find out the probability that he is innocent given that serum is showing the positive signs and this is what the required quantity is and this is what this is what we have to find out and this is the required quantity okay so this is the overall scenario which we want to find out here this is basically for p this is n and all the scenarios has been listed here so now let me solve this question so let me use uh, the black color for it so solving it okay, and let me write for this one the base theorem so the probability of n given p s would be the probability of the p s given n what is the probability of n okay whole divided by the probability of the positives by serum okay so this is what we want to find out and let me call it equation a okay now all this data is available this is already available and it is here P of n is already available this is here but we don't know the probability of p s so let me write it here so the probability of the p s would consider all the scenarios here if the person is um, positive or guilty and serum has been showing it a guilty and a person is um, innocent and a serum has been showing it innocent we have to consider both of these scenarios 
so let me write them here so the probability of the p as given that a person is guilty multiplying it with the probability of p okay and plus probability of the p as given that a person is innocent and what is the probability of the percent innocence okay so this is what we have here now uh, let me put their values here p of p s p is how much this is given this is 0 0.9 okay probability of p is 0 0.05 plus probability of p s given n this is 0 0.01 0 0.01 and multiplying it with the probability of n this is 0 0.95 so now multiplying these terms and then adding them together what would i get i would get here the value which would be 0 0.0545 okay and so this is what we have here and this is the value of probability of ps okay so now taking it and putting it here in this equation a so uh, putting them in equation a what would i get here the equation here is probability of n given p s okay and putting their values here probability that p s given n multiplied by p n these are here 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.95 whole divided by the value which is here so here 0 0.0 five four five okay so now let me multiply them and divide them so multiplying them and then dividing it here what would i get here i would get 0 0.174 okay so this is what this is the solution of the required quantity which we wanted to find here and it is saying that there is a 70 17.4 percent chance that a person who is shown guilty by the serum is actually innocent okay? so this is basically the fundamental type of question which is solved by the Bayes theorem and according to Bayes theorem or the fundamental equation of the Bayes theorem these type of statements has first to be converted to the fundamental mathematical forms and then we can very easily solve them like this one okay so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon